Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're hopping into a bullfrog video game known as Syndicate Wars. Bullfrog is actually an interesting game company because I definitely remember their name and I remember they did things, but I don't remember all the games they made, but I think they made games I like. I think we're going to have to look them up after today's video. Anyway, we're obviously streaming through the operating system that powers Jurassic Park, and it turns out it also powers this thing, whatever we're looking at here. A microchip on the back of somebody's head. Oh my god. You've heard of the Uncanny Valley? This is the Uncanny Grand Canyon, my god. Early 3D computer graphics, like PS1 era 3D, is so rough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys find this charming? I wouldn't say it's like terrible or anything like that. But like I look at uh, you can show me pixel art going all the way back to the original NES and even a little earlier than that. And I find it pretty charming. I think pixel art really peaked around the Super Nintendo era and only got better uh, since. But looking at early 3D graphics, I don't get the same sort of charm I get from uh, earlier pixel art. I don't know, I just... It just looks... What's the word? It, it, it like, holds up less well. Um, like, if... No, I don't know. I was gonna say, like, if you remade this intro with modern 3D graphics, maybe it would look way better. But I don't know if it would or not. Like, it would definitely lose this 90s era charm. So there's some charm to it, but... Like, I happen to think pixel art is timeless. And look look at indie games. They make modern indie games that try to have Super Nintendo-style graphics. Nobody's making an indie game with PS1-era polygon graphics. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't hold up in the same way. I think the games that were made with it have charm, and if you remake them, it does kind of, like, take something away from them uh, in a weird way. But you wouldn't make a modern game and intentionally give it PS1-era graphics, I don't think. I don't think anyone's crazy enough to do that. But, uh... Oh, that's weird. It keeps moving my mouse. That is really annoying. Alright, log in. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm, uh... Johnny Mnemonic. I'm about to hack the Matrix here. Um, we will be... Uh, we need, like, some sort of, like, hacker name. How about JSlice77? That's my, like, uh, you know... 90s era future hacker cyberpunk name J Slice. New mail has arrived. Oh, we got some new mail too. AOL powers the few. Here's my desk. You guys like what I did at the area? We got an awesome desk lamp here. Very nice. I turn it on and it gives me lights to see things. But I think I will read an email here. Um, let's see. The font is actually quite small here. Extraordinary malfunctions of Utopia chips are being reported. The malfunctions are all total dropouts, complete chip failures, subsequent category of citizens is you unguided. You category civilians reported in violation of behavior codes within one square kilometer of this substation. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. We will accept this email, I guess. And we will go to... I wanted to say Landon, because that's what it said, but London. The city of London. All right. Toxicity. Chemical waste. Human effluent. Disgusting. Drone connection. I think we are beaming into somebody's head. Oh, here we go, boys. Okay, we got a couple of dudes selected. I have no idea how to control Select. things. Selected. Can you select Selected. multiple guys at once? Selected. I don't think you can. Okay, so you can move guys around. Aim them. Can you zoom in and out? I don't think you can. Okay, these guys look like bad guys. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Selected. I guess you just have to use the numbers to select your dudes. Selected. 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 Oh, these Selected. are not bad guys. Uzi. Selected. We can turn Uzis on on all our guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, we started a gunfight. <laughs> all right. We might have just killed some civilians. It's all good, though. Like, who's this guy over here? Are these bad guys? 
think I'm just gonna die here. Oh, they blew up a phone post or something. Alright. So, I was expecting more of like a tactical game similar to, um, XCOM. But I do know from the original Syndicate, things sort of move quickly. There's got to be a way to select multiple guys. Select, selected, selected. I can just press the numbers. Oh. Okay. If you press control and a button, the guy just starts shooting like crazy. Or maybe he sees something. I don't 100% know. bring everyone along together so I really wish I could select them all I don't know how let's just uh, try and follow the mission here we need to go somewhere over this way oh look there's a whole park of people selected, selected, let's selected, see how good the pathfinding is I have a feeling it's terrible where are my guys oh no it's pretty good they're going off they go Oh, they're behind a building. Oh, this is going to be terrible. If I can't figure out how to rotate the camera. Wait. Oh, I can't even... Escape doesn't even bring up a menu. So I'm not even 100% sure. Okay, we're going to have to look up controls after this. Okay, a bunch of dudes just showed up packing heat at the local mall. Everyone's just bailing. As they should. So let's try and go over this way. There's something going on right over here. Selected. 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 Let's see. Oh, there's bad guys. Selected. Oh, we blew up a phone thingy. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, they're getting in firefights. They see somebody. Okay. Anyone else to kill? Okay, they seem to be pretty good at defending themselves, slash murdering randos. Okay, so we kind of want to go down. Oh, there's selected, some bad guys. Selected, selected. What does this do? I don't know. Yeah, kill them, boys! Look at this awesome firefight happening behind the building. I think we got them. Eliminate the target. Selected, 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 selected. There's another guy, like, right over here. Oh, he's running away. Select, 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 select. Kill her! We got her. Okay. I think there's another one right over here. I think. Hard to tell exactly where I am on the radar. Guess we want to be right here. I don't know what's happening here. Am I going in the building? Turn to HQ. Selected. Mission complete. Press spacebar to return. <laughs> There's fireworks to celebrate. I don't know that. Apparently, I passed a mission there. Mission and uh, in the Blade Runner universe, they've decided to give us a fireworks display. I killed nine adversaries. Sort of. It was very, um... What's the word? Like, it, it wasn't satisfying to kill. Because I didn't even... I, I mean, I guess the guys who were just, like, punks were the bad guys. But my guys kind of, like, walked up and did all the killing themselves. Half the time they were hidden behind buildings. So I wasn't sure what was going on. Um... Let's see. We do have some options here, though. Like, R and D. Did we... There's no topics to research. So I do like that there's a tech tree. I always appreciate a good game like XCOM or something where there's like a tech tree to research. We have, ooh, a minigun. Can I buy a minigun? Wait, how much money do I have? I have 50,000 credits. 12,000 for a minigun. What's this? A Persuader Tron. It's like a Men in Black Mind Eraser. I assume. Knockout gas? Eh. Non-lethal options. Not for me. Here are my agents. They're all in cryo-sleep. 
I'm examining their bodies, their level one bodies while they sleep. Map. That's the only location we can go. Um. All right, here we go. So player one is mouse. Oh, you can have multiple players. Well, that's kind of cool. If you could have like multiple people like co-oping uh, a mission together, that'd be kind of cool. Um, oh, you can zoom in and out. Okay, hold on. Fire is left control. Wait, I thought these were mouse controls. Okay, whatever. Fire, change mood. Change your mood, eh? Spin view left. Oh, here we go. Delete and page down. Oh, I see. So change agent. Okay, we can tab between agents. That's actually kind of good. Uh, group agents. Oh, slash. There we go. Okay, so I kind of have to be using the keyboard, I think, for this. Zoom in and out is home and end. Okay, so we kind of rotate, zoom in and out. Self-destruct. So we can tilt our view, too. Okay, I'm going to have to experiment with the camera controls. E control. Okay. So I think slash is key for selecting the group. Tab. See, what's interesting is, like, look at the keys. Left, right, up, down, home, end, delete, page down. Like, your hand has to be over near the arrows and stuff. But then it's, like, tabs way over on the other side of the keyboard. I mean, if you want one hand on... I guess if we were doing this all on the keyboard, you could have one hand on the right, one on the left. My right hand is on the mouse, so my left hand has to go to the arrows. This just sort of seems... I mean, I guess I could change all this rather than just complaining about it. Whatever, we'll leave it as is for right now. We'll see how it goes. Um, sure, the rest is fine. I'm going to buy a minigun, though. Oh, yeah! Pretty good. All right. Oh, look how fast that's going. Seek out members of the Church of the New Epoch and terminate them. Neutralize category is you. Okay, I don't need all the backstory of like why we're doing this. Just you, you tell me to kill some people belonging to a specific church and I'm down. Why not? Church of the New Epoch. I bet they're cultists. What does net scan do? 2500. Eh, let's try it. Oh, gives you more details. This doesn't help me. I just wasted $2,500 $2, for a map. Now that's a racket. Right, except that, oh, we're going to old Detroit. Site of the Church of the New Epoch. Those bastards are trying to bring about the end of the world, but we're not going to let them. Oh, there we go. Look at this. I can kind of tilt your camera ever so slightly. <laughs> Look at that. Top tilt, bottom tilt. That's as far as you can go. Actually fairly pathetic. Why well, even have that tilt? Um, it is sort of cool, the sort of pseudo 3D we got going on here. And look, the zoom in and out doesn't even work. Okay, select all the agents. I don't understand what's going on with the group. Okay, whatever. Um, all right, we want to go over here. So I assume it's this building here. All right, let's go, boys. Selected, select, selected. Everybody get over here. This does have sort of a very Johnny Mnemonic cyberpunk kind of feel to it. Shadow Run. I do I do like those properties and I like Cyberpunk, so uh, I also like sort of when uh like in Johnny Mnemonic, how it's depicted that like uh you know Asian culture is gonna be like very big in the cyberpunk future. So you sort of have like technology, guns, weapon runners, the matrix, you know, cyberspace. And then like lots of sort of like Chinese cultural references and, and Japanese culture and stuff like that. This is a, a, kind of a cool mix. Our guys are just taking care of business apparently. Also, oh my God, this guy has a mini gun. I forgot about that. Hey, you turn your gun on. 
Okay. I think we killed the guys who were running around just randomly killing people. Okay, one, two, three, four. Eliminate the zealots. Have you ever been called a zealot in real life? Can't tell if that's an insult or a compliment or just neither. Sort of a neutral statement about yourself. You, sir, are a zealot. Like, maybe I am, maybe I ain't. Okay, we seem to be passing some radioactive waste containers. Oh, look at that car, that's cool. Future cars. Is that a bad guy? Apparently. Come on, minigun guy. Toast him. My guys seem to have infinite health, or they don't get damaged easily. I can't 100%. I mean, we are on basic early missions, so. Can't 100% tell. Yeah, psych! So yeah, it sort of seems like just sort of point and clicky around these different environments. Also, you know what would be nice on the minimap is a box that showed me where my screen was. Like, I see that there's a guy I have to kill here. Am I actually looking at... Should he be here on my screen? I just sort of have to eyeball it. Here's the selected, old Mark selected, 1 selected, eyeball. Selected. Like, I'm clicking somewhere. Oh, it's here. See, I didn't even realize that was the target. Blow it up, boys. Hey, may maybe you should get back. Oh, he's gonna run us over. Guys, destroy that thing already. Don't let the taxi cab intimidate- I thought one of my guys got totally run over. Trees are on fire. Guys. Were we supposed to not shoot it with our right, guns? We're supposed to get like a rocket launcher select, or something? Select, select, select. He's running away. I'll monitor him from here. Where do you think you're going, pal? Oh, that looks like a DeLorean, like a flying DeLorean. I got distracted here. This car looks so cool. You know what game I haven't played yet that I really got to play is Cyberpunk 2077. Because that game looks totally awesome. I have no idea if it's as good as it looks. But that game, I feel like it's the Cyberpunk game I might have been waiting my whole life for. Haven't played it at all. Um, in fact, if you guys have played Cyberpunk, maybe someone can let me know what it's like, but, uh, Selected. yeah, it Selected. seems, Selected. just from what I've seen, it seems like a really cool game. Definitely has the look and feel that this, this game Selected. has. Selected. 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 Only possibly with better controls. Someone around here is just going around killing people, and it's not me. Look, who is this punk? You damn zealots! She's walking around in a bikini at night with her awesome red ponytail, riddling bodies with bullets. Selected. Oh, we're right here. Why aren't we stopping this? Selected. Selected. Guys, I, I hate to be that kind of boss that micromanages you, but if you could kill the gun toting maniac, it would be appreciated. Look, there's more zealots. Guys, there's zealots all- Oh my god, look at all these awesome cars. Selected. Selected. Can, I, can I drive one of these? It's literally a DeLorean. They just took the wheels off. I'm going to rotate, get a good angle here. That is a DeLorean, man. I mean, even the taxi cabs look DeLorean-ish. Maybe we're just in a future where DeLoreans are awesome. And everyone decided to make cars based on them. Oh, I can get in a car? Oh my god, hold on. We're in cars. Oh my god, I'm driving a DeLorean. That's awesome. We got a bit of Grand Theft Auto mixed in here for good measure. Why not? Everyone take... Here, you take a yellow DeLorean. Hey, wait. Guy number three, I think, died. I only have guys number one, two, and four. Evacuate. I think I finished the mission. Guy 3 died, I'm pretty sure, though. 
He was... He was not so great, though, so, you know. Man, look at all these bo bodies. Jeez, so... Okay, the Zealots were just going around... Oh, wait, bullf a bullfrog truck. The, the Zealots were just going around gunning people down? Is that the story here? I don't 100% get what was happening here, but I guess we stopped it. This awesome 3D. It, it is kind of cool, like the isometric view and stuff, but honestly, I find the buildings are just getting in the way a lot of times. Like, I would prefer uh, a more top-down view of things. Or like, I think uh, Diablo is an example of an early isometric game that perfectly handled isometric viewpoints because the walls turned transparent, never really got in your way. Like, it had a fixed viewpoint. You couldn't rotate like this because it wasn't truly 3D. But I think trying to go 3D when 3D wasn't really ready, you know, it was like a little, a little too, a little too ambitious, guys. Okay. Where are my guys? Can you get out? Where's guy number four? But what is happening? Like, I just shot my car and died. Okay. Guys, let's just... Selected. Time to Selected. evac here. Selected. I'll be honest with you, the civilians here seem a little crazy. Mission complete. Ah, more fireworks. The local mercenaries have completed their email task. Release the fireworks! And the laser light show. Let's show those mercs what kind of city Detroit is. Alright, it took me four days and four hours to do that, I think. We spent four days wandering new D Detroit. Not a single meal break, no washroom break, no sleep. I want it on the record. We are diligent mercenaries. The dialect is New American. What does that mean? Uh, anything in the R&D yet? Psychogas! Submit. I don't know what that is, but we're researching it, baby. You know, I guess we'll figure out what it is once it's researched. All we know now is it's called psychogas. You gotta do the research before you learn about it, so... That's how that works. Check our emails. What if one of these emails was accidentally spam? It was, like, from, like, a Nigerian prince who wanted to give us money if we, like, went to Detroit and killed a bunch of people? You know, like, emails? Like, we're getting missions via email? I'm sure the scams in the future of emails have gotten more sophisticated. So like, it's like, go to Nigeria and murder a bunch of people. I'll give you thousand dollars. I'm a prince. And you go and you do the killings and it's like, psych, you got duped sucker. That would be bad. So we should check these. We should, we should avoid phishing attempts. Always make sure, you know, always make sure for your deep, dark secret assassination missions, you know, the sender. Don't just take a deep, dark assassination mission from a sender you don't recognize, guys. Pro tip right there. Hong Kong Persuade Yamaguchi Power Plant Technicians. Oh, Persuade Yamaguchi Power Plant Technicians. Hong Kong isn't a part of that sentence. It's just the location. Um, also, in Beijing, Persuade Yamaguchi Corporation Executives. So, probably, I guess there's two missions. In Hong Kong, Yamaguchi Hollow Data, the Pacific Rim's major utopia chip manufacturers attempting to establish an independent syndicate. We want to undermine them. To complete the blow against Yamaguchi, pay a visit to their Beijing offices, locate and persuade their chief executive, neutralize any agency you encounter. So, basically, kill everyone. We've done this dance before. One of them kill everybody missions, eh? I like the minigun. Oh, let's get a persuadinator. I guess we don't have enough money. Some knockout gas. <laughs> Makes me think of community for some reason. Monkey knockout gas. Um, I don't know why it's monkey. Uh, you know, monkey themed knockout gas. It's not like a monkey is selling you knockout gas. It is gas intended to knock out a monkey. So humans technically are primates too, so I guess it would work on humans too. Let's get some monkey knockout gas. Why not, guys? We're loaded up. 
we're going to persuade you with our persuasion gun, and if that isn't convincing, then we'll fire a minigun and Uzi at you while we knock you out and provide medical aid. Perfect. What does this do? Okay, anyway, we accepted the mission. Let's do it. Initiating the drone control. Oh, it's raining now. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, guys. Oh, wait. You have the machine gun. Oh, wait. Only the first guy gets the option? I think I was uh, selecting weapons wrong. We got to start getting things for all our guys. You know what? I really wish W, A, S, and D were the scrolls. I'm going to actually change that. Um, okay, there's just a bunch of bodies over here, so I'm just going to assume this is where we kind of need to go. Um, what's happening here? Oh, there's a, bunch, there's a whole firefight happening here. A whole little thing. Oh my god. Okay, th this is why the building's getting in the way is actually kind of bad f bad news for us because you like, can't see what's going on. Music is definitely giving me Blade Runner vibes, though. Digging the music. Actually, really loving the music, actually. And I, I love those, like, Japanese, Chinese stings. I don't know which it is, so... I, I think it's sort of a Chinese musical sting. Whatever the case may be, it's it's the sort of Asian influenced music uh, mixed with the cyberpunk sci-fi is awesome. Like I do though feel like these firefights are pretty boring. Like your guys just like maybe I'm doing them wrong. I'm probably obviously doing them wrong. Oh my god, look at that. Is that ghost in the shell? Oh my god, it is. That is cool. Makes me want to go watch Ghost in the Shell, to be honest. That, now that's a classic cyberpunk anime. I'm not a huge anime guy, but I think Ghost in the Shell is one of my uh, all-time favorites uh, for, like, cyberpunk stuff. That's, that's so cool. Um, okay, we want to go over here. I'm going to see if we can persuade Atron this guy. You know, we've been doing a lot of killing by default. Let's see if it is possible to do some persuading. Where are my guys anyway? Are they even making it in here? Look, that guy's just standing right there. What is happening? Oh, is that door locked? Oh, there's a locked door. It's hard to tell because of the... Uh, it's also dark. What is on this now? The more ghost in the shell. No, this is something else. There's just like advertisements for cool anime. Interesting. Okay, I don't know how to get in there. Let's see, what else is there on the map to do? I'm getting instructions in the bottom. Persuade. Yamaguchi technicians. Well, let me tell you, if I could get into the building, that would be a start. Nothing down that way. Okay, there must be a separate way to enter. So... Actually, no, there isn't. Okay, everyone come over here. What is happening, guys? Look, they're, they're not moving. Oh, do we need a car? Hold on, maybe we need a car in order to enter. Okay, everybody come back over this way. Try and get a car. Let's Grand Theft Auto our way into this. Oh, perfect car. Nope, they didn't want to let us in. Wait, there, there were cars over here, right? Oh, yeah. We'll just take one of these cars. Probably the bullfrog truck. Alright, everyone into that bullfrog truck. It's there for a reason. 
Everyone else coming? Come on, boys. Get in this puppy. Alright. Now... Now we go in over here. God, these angles are horrible. I mean, I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to show off that they had a 3D engine years ahead of its time. Things do look awesome. It's just sort of like having to play the game this way is not very convenient. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it opened up! Suckers! Oh, but then somehow they knew it was us. Well, then why did you open the door? Doesn't make any sense. If I go open the door for the delivery, I'm gonna kill the delivery guy. He's coming to ambush us, but, you know. It is a delivery. A delivery is a delivery. The Amazon guy may try to murder you, but he does have your package, so... You gotta let him in. All right, boys. Try and get a good angle on this. Try and hypnotize this guy. Persuade him. Oh, we did it. He's like, no, don't zap my brains. Get over here, you bastard. All right, we persuaded them. Man, my guys can move when they want to. Yeah, mission accomplished. We did it. We're heroes. Selected. 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 Can my guys even get out of here now? They seem stuck. Oh, the truck is still Selected. here, though. Selected. 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 Did I make one guy go out? I can't even tell. Yeah, he's out. Selected. Get in the damn truck. All right. Oh, I, the rotation. It's like no matter which way you rotate it, there's always something in your way. It's so frustrating. Okay, now we want to come over here. Oh, we just need to evacuate now. We're done. We did it. So, the scientists now work for us or something? I'm not... I, honestly, I'm a little unclear on what our Select. mission was even about. Hey, where are you... Guys. Select. Just everyone get out, please. Select. Select. There we go. So we went and brainwashed Select. some technicians. Select. 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 Oh, they're following us now. Interesting. Maybe you can brainwash, like, soldiers and stuff and get a whole little gang going. We did it! it only took two days. Most of that time was trying to find an Amazon truck we could use to Trojan horse our way in. Well, success. Success to us. High explosives. I'd like psycho gas better. Also. Aha! You can buy stuff for different agents. Can I give something to a different agent? Oh, I can. Okay, this is good. Okay, so that, so this guy, guy number one will be the minigunner. Guy number two will be the brainalizer. This guy, he will buy you a minigun too. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, man, my missions pay crap. I've done three missions and I can barely afford anything more than the basic Uzi. That's disappointing. What happens with this cryotube? Anything? Just moves guys around, I guess? I don't know. Okay, interface. We gotta change this. Up, down, left, and right are so 90s. In the future, we use W, A, S, and D. Nobody uses the arrow keys to control the direction of video game characters anymore. Back in the day when I was... And I would play like Monster Bash and Commander Keen and stuff. The arrow keys were actually used to move your character. But nowadays your right hand has drifted off of those arrow keys and it lands solidly on the mouse. You're always holding the mouse. So where does your left hand have to go? It doesn't go to the arrow keys, it goes to W, A, S, and D. You can tell a game is sort of pre-Quake Quake 2. 
because the those were the games I think that popularized W A S and D, and then they just translated to everything. So it's like you could be playing, you know, like a an R T S game nowadays. They even still make those, and it's W A S and D. Anyway, save. Um, let's do one more mission. I feel like the missions are going quick, and I guess we're not getting too far in the game. But I'll be honest with you, the, the gameplay is not what I was hoping it would be. It's It seems rather basic, but I'll, I'll tell you more about my thoughts when we wrap up one more mission. But let's do one more mission here. Let's, hell, let's throw a net scan in. Police report, riding in the unguided. Well, that was worth a thousand bucks. Accept our mission in Beijing. I didn't even actually read the mission as to what we're supposed to do. I hope we don't kill anyone. Oh, I should have made Q and E rotate the camera. Is there a way to fail our mission? There isn't even a way to bring up the menu as far as I can tell. Base doesn't do it. Alright, well. Get your minigun out. Get your brain elizer out. Get your monkey gas out, and you have an Uzi. All good. All right, so we need to get in over here. Selected. Selected. Somewhere. Selected. Now let's watch our dudes in action. Oh, minigun! Oh, look at all these punks come to die. Oh, they, oh, they all get knocked out. Oh my god, we knocked them out with the gas, and then we, we riddled their unconscious bodies with lead. That is how you dispatch your enemies, man. Yeah, monkey gas them! Oh, my guys are dying! Oh, I... shoot, was not really paying... I... Missions have all been so easy, I didn't really pay too much attention. So, I guess we failed. <laughs> Okay, oh, we get another shot. I was gonna say, let's try one more time. Okay, everyone... We don't want to mess around here. Okay. Everyone come up here. Attack the enemy together. And let's take some time to regenerate after we kill the enemy. Oh my god, they're icing us. I think we have shields or something. Our, our health does seem to regenerate a little bit over time. Let's give it a second here. Is that all it's gonna regenerate? No, it keeps going. I mean, I guess you could use a med pack. It'd be less tedious than this, but... Select, select, select. The regenerative health, it seems. Taking our time. See, the fact that you can only select one unit at a time, but it did say you can group your units. I just don't know how the group. I don't understand how the grouping works. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. No, that doesn't do it at all. Hey guys, everyone stay together. Guys, get over here. Oh, one of my guys died, no! Oh no, we're gonna be hit by the car. Oh my God, we're gonna be hit by that too. I... <laughs> guys, get out of the road, please, for the love of God. Stop getting shot into the road, man. Oh, he got smeared by a taxi cab and we're done. We are done. Maybe this is a stealth mission. You gotta go in all sneaky or something like that. Well, I don't think we're gonna pass this mission, but that's okay, because I think we were sort of... I was reaching the end of my interest in Syndicate Wars anyway. Um, Syndicate is an interesting series. I do remember vaguely playing the first Syndicate, um, and I think I liked it a little more than this. I do remember controlling guys in a group. It was very similar, though, where it was just sort of a point-and-click, real-time, sort of tactical action game. I think, personally for me, the tactical game that was standout to me, that I was addicted to when I was younger, was XCOM. XCOM UFO Defense. Uh, that was the first game 
sort of like this um, that I played, and it was amazing. I think what I liked about XCOM is that it was so tactical and turn-based, and every decision mattered. Now, that's not to say that I didn't wish it was um, real-time. You know, I also really like Fallout 1 and 2, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I would I would have liked XCOM to be real time because I was a big fan of Starcraft and stuff like that But I feel like this game has a few things that make it slightly more difficult to control Clearly its interface is in the earlier days of uh, You know real time uh, Interfaces So I don't know like Warcraft and stuff had existed. I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is about this game But it just sort of feels like it's difficult to control you can't just like click and drag a box and select like, I'm trying to click and drag right now, I'm just moving one guy around. I want to highlight all my guys and have them all move together. Also, it kind of feels like there, there's not many tactical choices that I can figure out right now. I'm sure there are some, and you guys can let me know in the comments, but it kind of feels like my choice is everybody move here, and then all stand there and shoot. And, uh... You know, the first person to die... loses. Like, have you guys seen Dead Heat? Like, like this... This is what the shootouts in this game feel like. Okay? What you're seeing right now, this is a shootout in Syndicate Wars. And... yeah, so... so I don't know what there's to say about this one. It's... I, I do love the aesthetics, I do love the style, but there's a lot of things that are keeping me from fully enjoying it, like the buildings are actually more getting in the way. As cool as it is to see the 3D buildings, they're often just in the way, and I'm not sold on the gameplay from this little experience so as far as like my little examination today love the love the idea not so sure the execution is where i want it to be but guys what do you think of syndicate wars here and more specifically if you played and loved this game growing up let me know let me know like maybe there were some things i could have done <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh geez need some water uh, maybe there's some things I could have done to, um, you know, smooth out the gameplay. Maybe there were some features I didn't realize. Maybe it's just sort of a game, like an acquired taste. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Syndicate Wars here. Um, but whatever you think, hopefully you've had fun checking it out with me today. Oh my god, wait, did I make it in here? I wasn't even really paying attention, but I think I got where I needed to go. We brainalize the guy? <laughs> Where's the guy we got to brainalize? He's like right around. So you can't you can't even see the guys you're supposed to be brainalizing. I guess I did it. Okay, well let's let's, let's try and like wrap up the mission at least. Keep moving. Yeah, let's see what happens if we go down here. But anyway, yeah, I I do love the environments and the style and the cyberpunk with the Asian influence and it's cool. It makes me want to go watch Johnny Mnemonic. Um, but I just wish the gameplay was sort of where I wanted it to be. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Maybe I got it right. Maybe I got it wrong. You let me know in the comments down below. Am I dead on the money or am I an idiot? Or am I a little bit of both? Where are my guys? I guess the minimap is another thing I really don't like in this game. I find it... It could use some improvements. Like, it's sort of like I felt the first Syndicate Wars, which was not a 3D game, it was a 2D game on, just, with sprite graphics and DOS. That was executed better than what we have here, and this game sort of sacrificed some of its gameplay for the fact that it's 3D. So that's sort of the impression I'm kind of getting with all this, but... As I say, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Everybody come down this way, there's someone we gotta brainalize, I think. Wade Yamaguchi. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Oh, there's a door here, but look how hard that is to see. Mission failed. Executive fatality. Okay. Can we just kill everyone and get the hell out of Dodge then. What's this? Oh, you can you can get guns off of guys. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a neat feature. I didn't realize that. You can take guns off of people you kill. Okay, so that, that's a cool feature. I like that. Um, wish I'd noticed it. Probably wouldn't have made a big difference, though. So, anyway. Um, guys, I hope you had fun with this one. I will, I'm will. i dead. I'm dead in the cyberpunk future. That's my fate in this world. 
Just zoom around this world because it looks so cool right now. This is our ending credits scene. Zooming through the cyberpunk. Where are we? Beijing? Beijing. Oh, look at that cool statue, too. Anyway, guys, we're catching the next one. It's been fun. Uh, see you then. <laughs> Peace.